Florida is ground zero. There are more sinkhole claims here than anywhere else in the nation. Worst hit is the west central part of the state. Locals have taken to calling Hernando, Pasco, and Hillsborough counties sinkhole alley. This is where John and Tina Furlow moved in 2007, completely unaware that the ground they built their house on was anything but stable. I mean, you can see this house. It's a dream house. We were going to live and die here. So we put everything into it. Every inch of this house has us in it. This is like paradise. But paradise soon developed a dark side. I was going out to clean the filters out on my pump system, and I stepped in a hole, and it just went straight down. It was all the way this way. It was about five feet down, and it was going up under the house. And so I called her, and she came out and was like, oh, my god, what is that? Neither one of us knew anything about sinkholes. Now it's gone almost nine feet now, all the way to the corner. We joke around and say our dream house was falling into a hellhole. Why put any more money into the house when you don't know what's going to happen to it? To start over again at our age, and with every penny in this house, we're, oh, it would be, it would be hard. Be, yeah, we right. would start from scratch. The furlough situation has become all too common. Sinkhole-related claims in western central Florida more than doubled between 2006 and 2010. You'll see a big crack starting there. Right. Yeah, that's and good. it starts to come around, and now... The recent wave of sinkholes has brought geologist Matthew Kirby here searching for answers. You can see... Oh, wow. ...how the crack is, goes yeah. through that tile to this tile to this tile. Has this been progressing over time? Yeah, okay. it started off just typical. a little bit out there and then just keeps cracking. And okay, that's an indication that you have foundation instability. Because it's migrating from the outside in. That's correct. So I guess we're on an investigation now, so let's see some evidence. Both Kirby and local so expert Sandy Nettles have already seen enough to be concerned. But there is more to come. They found cracks in the ceiling, cracks in the walls, their pool's leaking. I think what bothers me most about this situation is that the sinkhole that they have has opened up under their bedroom. And the bedroom is your safe place. Do you sleep in this room? Uh, once in a while we try, but as you lay in bed and look up and see more cracks and them getting bigger, it just got really scary. So once sure. in a while we'll come back in here just because we're like, this hole's not gonna <laughs> Move us out of our bedroom. Oh, wow, that's, that's a big hole. <laughs> I think we kind of knew it. Yeah. This is where our sinkhole came out to be. The sinkhole under the furlough's bedroom opened up in 2011. So this is your bedroom? Bedroom. Yeah. bedroom? Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't sleep in your bedroom. No. no. Like when you turn on a well, Since then, like it has continued to so crumble, expanding the hole and further weakening yeah, the foundation. If this is a big dropout here. So yeah. if you saw this at your house, Sandy, would you be concerned? Absolutely. That's a serious situation. And what would you do? What was, what's your initial thing you'd want to do? Uh, probably move out. 